Hello everybody. Welcome to this tutorial on special commands in KTurtle. In this tutorial, we will learn about learn command and random command. To record this tutorial, I am using Ubuntu Linux OS version 12.04, KTurtle version 0.8.1 beta. We assume that you have basic working knowledge of KTurtle. If not, for relevant tutorials, please visit our website. Let us open a new KTurtle application. Click on Dash Home. In the search bar, type KTurtle. Click on the KTurtle icon. First, let us look at Learn command. Learn is a special command as it is used to create your own commands. Learn command takes input and returns output. Let us take a look at how a new command is created. Let me zoom the program text to have a clear view. Let us type a code in the editor to draw a square. Repeat 4 within curly brackets forward 10 turn left 90. Here the number 10 specifies the length of the side of the square. Now let us learn the commands involved to draw a square using the learn command. We will name this set of commands to draw a square as square. The command learn is followed by the name of the command to be learnt. In this case it is a square. Let us type the following code learn space square space dollar x let us include curly brackets let us replace 10 by dollar x new command that we have defined is called a square square takes one input argument dollar x to set the size of the square note that when you run this code, square returns no output. The command learn is just learning other command to be used later. Square command can now be used like a normal command in the rest of the code. Let me add few more lines here. Let us type go 200 comma 200 square 100. Using the command square 100, turtle draws a square of dimension 100. Let us run the code now. Turtle draws a square on the canvas. Let us now replace 100 by 50. Let us run again. Turtle draws another square with dimension 50. Please note this command can be used only within the scope of this program. I will clear the current code from editor, type clear command and run to clean the canvas. Next we will learn about random command. Random command takes input and returns output. Syntax for random command is random x comma y where x and y are two inputs x sets minimum output and y sets maximum output. Output is randomly chosen number between x and y. Let us put the random command to use in the application. I already have a code in a text editor. I will explain the code now. Reset command sets turtle to default position. Here the command random 1 comma 20 selects a number which is equal or greater than 1 and equal or less than 20 and assigns it to the variable x. Repeat command and the commands within curly brackets draw a circle. I will copy the code from the text editor and paste it into kturtles editor. 
Pause the tutorial here and type the program into your KTurtle editor. Resume the tutorial after typing the program. When we run this code, Turtle draws a circle with radius between 1 and 20 on the canvas. Let us execute this code a few times. You can see that a circle with different size is generated each time. Every time you execute this code, a circle with a different radius is drawn on the canvas. Let us now use both learn and random commands in an example. I will clear the current code from the editor. Type clear command and run to clean the canvas. I already have a program in a text editor. I will explain the code now. Reset command sets turtle to its default position. Canvas size 300, 300 sets the width and height of the canvas to 300 pixels each. R, G and B are three variables to which I am assigning random values between 0 and 255. In the command canvas color R, G and B, the red, green, blue combination is replaced by the values assigned to the variables R, G and B in the previous step. The canvas color is randomly set when this command is executed. Red, blue and green are another set of variables to which random values between 0 and 255 are assigned randomly. Pen color red, blue and green. The red, blue, green combination values are replaced by the variables red, green and blue to which random values were assigned in the previous step. The color of the pen is also set randomly when the command is executed. Pen width 2 sets the width of pen to 2 pixels. Next I have entered the code to learn to draw a circle. Here dollar $x represents the size of the circle. Repeat command followed by the code in curly brackets draws a circle. The next set of commands that is go commands followed by circle commands draw circles with the specified sizes. For example, circle with size 5 draws a circle with size 5 at the coordinates specified at x and y positions in the go command. For each circle, I have specified different positions on the canvas. I will copy the code from text editor and paste it into kturtle's editor. Pause the tutorial here and type the program into your kturtle editor. Resume the tutorial after typing the program. I will execute this code in full speed. You can execute this code at any of the speeds specified in the run option. I will run this code a few times. You can see the difference in randomly set values of pen color and canvas color. Note the change in the color of the pen and the canvas on each execution. You can execute the code how many ever times you want and note the changes in the randomly set values of the pen and canvas. With this we come to the end of this tutorial. Let us summarize. In this tutorial we have learnt about learn command and random command. As an assignment for you to solve, using learn command draw a pentagon, square, rectangle, hexagon on all four corners of your canvas and a circle at the center of the canvas. Using the random command, create various colors and customize your geometric shapes 
and canvas. Watch the video available at this URL. It summarizes the spoken tutorial project. If you do not have good bandwidth, you can download and watch it. The spoken tutorial project team conducts workshops using spoken tutorials, gives certificates to those who pass an online test. For more details, please write to contact at the rate spoken-tutorial.org. Spoken Tutorial Project is part of the Talk to a Teacher Project. It is supported by the National Mission on Education through ICT MHRD Government of India. More information on this mission is available at this link. This script is contributed by IT for Change Bangalore. This is Madhuri Ganpati from IIT Bombay signing off. Thank you for joining.